Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, and in this video, I kind of just want to go over like a little preseason preview for the Giants to kind of go over, you know, I have around seven things I'm really looking at, you know, just kind of see, you know, players and roster and all that good stuff, you know, to see who really steps up, you know, with this, you know, Giants team. And then kind of first off, my kind of first point is, I want to know exactly what does Darren Waller look like, you know, in the preseason, you know, because it seemed a little bit, I mean, I know he's had a very good, you know, that's a, so far, at least from camp, it's shown that he's, you know, a lot of rumors and, you know, videos and stuff are showing, you know, he's been really good. So I'm really looking forward to that, you know, seeing how he does with that, you know, if that can translate into preseason and after that, you know, into the actual season, you know, because I know he's had some injury, you know, problems the last few years, but I think he's someone, if he can stay healthy, he can for sure be that, you know, a thousand yard guy that we brought him in for. And I'm really hoping he is because I think we really need that in this offense. And kind of speaking about, you know, a second point, you know, kind of speaking about receiving threats, you know, how does a receiving core, you know, how do they look? You know, like kind of like exactly who's going to make the team kind of thing. Because I know we, we have a lot in camp right now. You know, kind of people, you know, we brought in a lot of people. You know, we brought in Jameson Crowder, you know, Cole Beasley. You know, we brought in, you know, Jeff Smith. Uh, there's a lot of people we brought in, you know, when we drafted Jalen Hyatt. You know, there's a lot of, you know, people like Sterling Shepard as well. You know, I mean, he's been here. But, you know, is he going to still be on the roster and everything like that? And I want to see who, is there anyone who kind of, you know, comes as the wide receiver one. Does anyone separate themselves? And they become you know, kind of like the wide receiver one in this team. So I'm really interested to see how that all goes and everything like that. You know, I think it's very interesting. Because I think we know, especially for the wide receivers, we need some of these guys to step up. We need some guys to show that they can be very reliable options. Because that, that was, I think, a big weakness for us. You know, can anyone, can someone like Isaiah Hodgins, for example, can he improve from last season? Can someone like Darius Slayton, work on his weaknesses, you know, can he, you know, have better hands and stuff like that, you know, can we, can we see someone, you know, step up, can we see the receiving source step up, because I think that's what we need if we want for Dana Jones to take that next step, if we want, you know, his offense in general to just take the next step, we need better play from the wide receivers, and kind of, so third off, my, kind of my third little point is, how does the O-line look, you know, I think O-line is something that was a little shaky at times last year, I think between run blocking, I thought they were very pretty good. You know, I thought we had a good running blocking last year. Pass blocking was very iffy, pretty much besides Andrew Thomas. You know, he's a stud. But after outside of him, yeah, I think there was a lot left to be desired. I think for someone like Evan Neal, for example, does he take the next step? Because I thought, to be honest, if he does not take that step this year, there's going to be concerns. You know, if he doesn't take any steps, really show improvement from last year to this year, that's a, not a good thing at all. I want to see, you know, if he takes that step and, you know, how far forward that step is, you know, is he going to be someone like, you know, like an Andrew Thomas where you're really sitting there and you see some flashes like, okay, this guy's going to be the, the tackle for the next decade. But is it going to be someone where it's like, maybe we made the wrong draft choice? You know, I think that can be a little vital concern, especially how someone like Charles Cross from last year, for example, he, how he played. You know, I think may come out we didn't take the best tackle i hope i'm wrong but you know i think that's a little concern as well and also kind of other players like who plays with the guards you know does someone actually step up like josh uzudu you know become you know a viable option or something like that like you know i think there's a lot of things also john michael schmitz as well you know at the center position how's he looking because i think you know if he turns out is he going to be that guy we're hoping on i mean i think he's someone who can be a very good center for this team for the near near and possibly long-term future as well from John Michael Schmitz is him, since I think, you know, it really helped the team if we just had another, you know, very good, <laughs> you know, starting lineman on this team, since his own line is still a work in progress. You know, we're not there yet, but I want to see the unit as a whole, you know, take another step forward. And that means people like Evan Neal, you know, need to take a step and stuff like that. So that's another thing I'm really looking forward to. And I kind of, you know, my fourth thing I'm really looking for for the Giants is... How's the run defense look? You know, we added, you know, Nacho, you know, Nunez, Rochez, you know, same guy, obviously there, but we have him, Sean Robinson, Bobby Okereke. You know, I think we really struggled, you know, defending the run last year. I think case in point was maybe like the playoff game in Eagles. Absolutely mauled us on the ground. That's just because, you know, they just had the hog mollies up front. You know, just creating holes and everything like that. So I really... Really need to look at the Giants, you know. I think we really need to step it up there in the run defense. And how are those new guys we brought in to help? We brought in some, you know, guys to help exactly with that. 
and now they need to go show it. Now they need to show that we can actually stop the run better. Since I think if we can't stop the run, that's going to, you know, halt the progress of this team. If we're, you know, a bottom feeder in terms of run defense, that team's not going to be able to take the next step if we can't stop the run. So I'm really, you know, looking forward to see how, you know, the guys we brought in perform, especially uh, Okereke, since I think we need a good linebacker. You know, we haven't had a really good, I think, like middle linebacker in a very long time on this Giants team. And I would love it if Bobby Okereke stepped up and became that guy. Or at least, you know, be better than we had, which wasn't, isn't that hard to example. Because, I mean, it's like, <laughs> you had to, like, take Crowder and stuff like that. But, yeah, jokes aside, you know, really need the run defense to be better this year. And, you know, that terms of run defense and also the linebackers as well. You know, and also, speaking of, like, Bobby Okereke, linebackers, outside of him, who else steps up? Darren Beavers, you know, Micah McFadden, you know, whatnot. Who actually becomes, like, other than Bobby Okereke, you know, who is going to, like, really show to be a very good linebacker? Or at least, you know, a good linebacker, you know. Because I know we lost Gerard Davis. I know he's out for the season. So, as someone we're actually going to be able to, you know, take a step up and really show that they're the guy. And at least maybe not the guy, you know, but show that they're actually a viable player on this team, you know, that can actually show production. You know, can we actually put them out there and have them not be absolutely terrible? You know, I think that's a big thing. And I'm really hoping that the Giants, you know, our linebackers look better since I think that's been a weakness for us for a while. And I think to even show even an ounce of improvement, I think would be spectacular. You know, that's something I really want to see from this Giants team, this linebacker core. Exactly, you know, who steps up, you know, who shows going to be that second linebacker option, you know, who shows, because you know, that's what we really need on this team, you know. And I think, you know, my, kind of my sixth point is, well, this is secondary, you know, I think there's a lot of movement in the secondary, you know, we lost Julian Love, so how does, you know, Bobby McCain, you know, kind of, I guess, you know, the replacement we brought in, how's he looking, you know, how's Deontay Banks going to look since, I think, he, you know, we're hopeful, you know, he's going to be the second corner, you know, this year. And I think long-term, he's probably going to be the first option since I don't think Adore Jackson is someone who's going to be here the long-term, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah, I think it would be very interesting to see how Deontay Banks does. You know, how is he looking? You know, how the safety is looking, like Bobby McCain, for example. And also, I think the slot, you know, corner, I think that's a big thing for us. You know, who's going to be that guy? Is Cordell Flott going to take a step since... I mean, Darnay Holmes, I don't think he was very good last year, just to be honest. You know, I think we need someone better in the slot. And, you know, who's going to, is Darnay Holmes going to keep that spot, or is Cordell Flott, you know, going to take a step and show that he's, you know, the long-term possible slot corner for this team? And outside of them, you know, who else, you know, depth pieces, who shows up? You know, we added some people, you know, Gervarius, you know, Owens, someone we drafted. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. You know, and there's other, you know, we brought in, you know, Amani, Amari, you know, Uare, some, you know, I hope this is the right too, we brought him from the Lions, so we brought people in, you know, how are they looking, how are the draft picks looking, I think it's, you know, very, it would be very interesting to see who steps up and who doesn't, you know, especially at the slot corner, I think that's something we really need to improve on. And that's kind of my seventh spot, you know, I think, you know, how does the special teams look, you know, I think special teams was something, I know we created some turnovers, you know, last year on special teams, but outside of that, I feel like we were pretty poor on special teams, to be honest. You know, someone like Jamie Gillen, for example, can he actually learn how to place a punt? Since it always bothered me how he could never place a punt inside the 20. Everything was a touchback. And can he actually improve on that? And I think Graham Gano is solid. Can he continue, you know, being a good kicker? Since good kickers are very valuable in this league. <laughs> you know, we see, you know, teams going through kickers, you know, every like two weeks, you know, they got a new one. And can Graham Gano continue being Mr. Consistent? I think it's a very valuable asset in today's NFL. Also, like special teams, can we not give up big plays? You know, I think it's a big thing. I know with this is you know with this team, we're, we don't have the most, we don't understand have the most talent. You know, and I think you know being able to win in the special teams can change the tide of games. You know, if we want to, for example, beat a big boy. You know, if we want to beat a team, you know, a really good team, like a contending team. I think beating them in the special teams is a way that we can, you know, as a team. Make those games closer, you know, turn those ties into our favor. Can the special teams make a big play that can, you know, change the outcome of a game? You know, I think it's something we really, I really think the Giants need to do better at. You know, I think special teams needs to improve. They can really help this team, you know, in close games. And I think that's just something we really need to improve on. And hopefully, I know we brought people like Jeff Smith, for example. I know he's a very good, you know, special teams guy. You know, I just want to see, you know, 
anyone step up, you know, as a unit, as a better, as a whole, you know, a lot better. I think it's something we really need to improve on. And I'll say, yeah, that kind of wraps up my kind of like seven few things. I kind of wanted to go over kind of a preview, kind of, you know, what I wanted to see from the Giants. And and I'd love to know what y'all think, you know, if y'all have any you know, things I you think I missed. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments and everything like that. And yeah, and I, um, over that, you know, thanks y'all for watching. Have a blessed day.